Uh, yeah, my name is Charles Lewinson. Um, I work for Course Tech. Um, I already forgot the questions. <laughs> what I do? Um, yeah, I'm a research scientist. Um, essentially, develop new materials or processes. Um, typically, or mostly ceramics. Uh, for just a wide variety of applications. Um, I'm working right now on uh, ceramic matrix composites for turbine engines. Um, and our company is one of the largest worldwide manufacturers of advanced ceramics. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been involved in the area for um, over 15 years, but I think these workshops, you know, academics always learn more information and passing that to industry um, is always useful. Uh, well, we're looking at them for a lot of applications. Um, again, I primarily look at high temperature uh, materials, say for aircraft engines, and we'd be looking at using pre-ceramic polymers to make fibers or matrices of the composites to use in those. Um, but we make seals for uh, pumps, um, either water pumps, oil pumps, used in the mining industry. We make a lot of uh, armor. Uh, we make wear products, you know, so there's a lot of uses for these materials um, that, you know, hopefully will pan out. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, like I said, uh, there's just n more information, new learnings, and new materials being developed all the time. Um, and so I think they're going to kind of overcome the challenges that are always there when uh, you're trying to introduce new materials into the real world. Right now, I think a, a focus is uh, composites, ceramic matrix composites for, for aircraft. Um, I think there's probably some space in the battery world. Yeah. Um, cathodes, lithium ion batteries, or lithium chemistry batteries. Um, yeah, we look at them just as kind of supplemental materials, so where we can make bulk materials really cheaply and high volume from powders, um, but if we have to do something a little more complex, maybe joining those together or putting surface coatings on, um, that's where polymer materials might be really useful. Yeah, uh, to be honest, one of the big challenges is cost, um, you know, being in this working with these materials for a long time and you know I know they're just starting to um, move into industrial application which always brings the cost down but you know the cost of uh, these precursor materials really hasn't changed much in the last 10 years or so and uh, yeah for more adoption lower cost would be much better I mean I think this was a good uh, yeah I think this was a good workshop um, you know, I, I know that uh, this is, you know, an academic um, sort of program uh, and the NSF is funding academics to kind of dig into the basics of how these materials work. Um, and I think this workshop had a good blend of uh, industrial people offering their perspective on how you could use the materials or how they would want to use the materials. Um, so, I don't know, I think it was a good mix. Perfect. Um, do you have any last comments, anything uh, that you want to talk about the program or the materials? Uh, yeah, I just hope it's successful in making a new, you know, higher performance, lower cost fiber, um, or composites, you know, for some of the applications we're looking at.